America can, should, must, and will blow up the moon. Yes, and we'll be doing it during a full moon, so we make sure we get it all. Greetings, children. Today I'm going to tell you a story, a story that takes place in the year 1958. We're in the middle of a tense flexing match with Russia called the Cold War. All of a sudden, the Air Force was like, Bro. Bro? Bro, we should like... What, bro? We should like blow up the freaking moon, bro. Bro! That led to the creation of a secret military project called A119. The official justification for Project A119 was to answer some of the mysteries in planetary astronomy and astrogeology. AKA, we're uh, kind of losing the space race pretty badly and we want to scare Russia. The US thought that if they shot nukes at the moon, Russia would see it explode and it'd scare them pantsless. So that answers why, kind of, but how? Well, it turns out blowing up the moon is a little hard. Bro, blowing up the moon is kind of hard. Why, bro? Bro, we need like, Hella bombs, bro. We have hella bombs, bro. No, 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 no. We need all the bombs, bro. All the bombs, bro? All the bombs, bro. Here's you. Here's the Sar Bomba, the largest nuke ever detonated in history. You need about 600,000 of those to blow up the moon. Also, you can't shoot that many nukes from Earth. You'd have to actually take them up to the moon and plant them each one by one in their own individual craters and then come back down to Earth and blow it up from there. Bro, that sounds like really hard. Yeah, bro, screw that. Let me call my buddy Carl, he's really smart. I bought him some Zaw ones, so he like owes me. Tie it. Hey Carl! I told you to never contact me unless it was an emergency. Carl, we're trying to blow up the moon, bro. Can you help? You can't blow up the moon, idiot. Oh. Shoot a nuke to the dark side of the moon. The dust will kick up into the atmosphere. And the sun will illuminate it. And then the Russians can see it with their naked eyes from Earth. Whoa, that's like actually pretty scary, bro. Don't call me again or you die. Thanks, Carl. Call you again soon. I love that bro, bro. Making a cloud of dust visible from Earth, though, was totally possible and way, 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 way easier than exploding the entire moon. Hydrogen bombs, they were a no-go because they were way too heavy, but a regular missile, though? Well, hit the moon at just the right angle with those and you got yourself a big old cosmic middle finger pointed right at the commies. So we were totally 100% ready and willing to do this. But then... All right, bro, let's go. Bro, wait. NASA decided that maybe nuking the moon was a little stupid, so we sent a couple dudes up there to walk on the surface instead. Also, shooting a nuke at the moon has the possibility of completely missing and boomeranging back down to Earth, so what we got was probably for the best. Funny thing is, the USSR also had plans to nuke the moon, but ran into the same problems as us. They had plans titled E1 to E4, and they basically went as follows. Дальнейшее углубление двухсторонних торговых и инвестиционных связей Безусловно, отвечает коренным интересам двух стран. Я хочу пожелать вам успехов и благодарю вас за внимание. Спасибо. I need to stop saying nuke the moon. It's sounding like something I kind of want to see. There's a book by Neil Stevenson called Seven Eves, where the moon gets destroyed. Spoilers. The moon gets destroyed and fragments into seven large pieces. And those seven pieces keep crashing into each other because of their gravitational pull and they create millions of tiny little meteorites that bombard Earth into an apocalypse. And that's not totally outside of the realm of possibility, so that's fun. So obviously we didn't destroy the moon. Closest we've come to actually doing that is a Call of Duty Zombies Easter egg. And as of 1967, the Outer Space Treaty banned the militarization of space and therefore the use of nukes on the moon. So it'll probably be there for a little while. Just kidding, the moon is fake, the earth is flat, Australia isn't real. Wake up, sheeple.